Hey everybody. Okay, I know a long time ago, probably about a year ago, I got a question. Somebody was asking for some gluten-free options. Gluten-free is becoming more and more prevalent because there are a lot of people that are subscribing to that type of lifestyle. So this is one ration that I found by good to go Meals and they are out of the great state of Maine and it says gluten free on there. I am partial to curries and spicy food and Thai. I'm not expecting this to be very spicy but I'm hoping it to have that nice curry flavor. So I don't really think I've seen anything about one of these uh, on YouTube, so I'm, I'm quite sure there there are some. Uh, the only kind of drawback I have is the expiration date. These things don't seem like they really hold for a long time, or at least they're not designed to hold for a long time. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I might buy one of these, another one of these, in a uh, just, uh, I don't know, stick it somewhere for 10 years or whatever and just see what happens. I don't know if I'll be doing this in another 10 years, but it would definitely be uh, an interesting experiment. So I've got a whole little series of these uh, gluten-free kind of adventure rations. I don't know if the military has really started looking at that kind of thing, but okay. Uh, next step, let's heat up some water and try this thing out. Okay, one more thing I should note. This is uh, one serving. They do, these do come in larger bags, two serving bags, but I opted not to uh, to go that until I liked these kind of thing. And uh, they're like, what is it? 3.4 ounces. So, all right, let's uh, take off the top. And it's got an oxygen absorber and a milk mix. Right here is the milk. Right here is the oxygen absorber. And you can look, boy, this thing already has an awesome curry smell to it. And we'll look at the instructions real quick. It says add the milk powder, which this is like coconut milk powder. If, of course, if you're lactose free or whatever, you might not want to, you might not want to add this. So, pour that in there. Seems to be quite a bit of it, too. So, that is all empty. And it is, it says 300 mil of water, which is pretty much approximately to, uh, to 12 ounces of water. So, we'll pour that in there. This just came right off of the stove. And they were, I, I had talked to somebody that had tried one of these before, and they said when the manufacturer says 12 ounces of water, use 12 ounces of water. So we'll give that a little stir real quick, make sure it's incorporated. Give this a seal. And it specifically says to let it sit for about 20 minutes. So... As soon as that's up, we'll take a look. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I don't really hear a ton of water in there, even though it looked like there was a, well, there is a pretty good amount of liquid in there. And then the directions say take a spoon and stir. And I'm using one of these Canadian IMP long handle spoons, which really works quite well for this so but yeah there is a lot of liquid in here probably wouldn't be a bad idea to to drain it if uh, you didn't want your your chow so soupy but, and what else does it say it just says open and stir and again you kind of have a problem trying to read that because that's where they put that little label right over that direction so 
got a nice bowl right here. And mm. Actually, I'm glad I did not pour out the liquid. I think that's going to make a nice kind of sauce, almost. Here's a nice little look. It's got that great yellow curry flavor. And you can see that it's got all kinds of yummy goodness in there. It's got a spicy yellow coconut curry with vegetables, jasmine, and rice. And some of those vegetables are, it has onion, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, some peas. You can see the like green beans right there. Uh, it's got lemongrass, garlic, so some dried Thai chilies. So I think this is going to be something that is going to go with my palate real well. So there we go. Let's give that a nice try. Okay, it does have a nice little spicy little kick to it. You can really taste that that yellow curry flavor. I got a helicopter flying over me right now. Kind of crazy. And a jet. Wow. Maybe World War III just kicked off. The rice probably could take a little longer to uh, kind of get all happy again and nice and kind of mushy because it is a little crunchy. But outside of that, uh, the vegetables are really nice. In fact, uh, that bite I had had a big old uh, broccoli floret in it, and it was nice and chewy. So, yeah, uh, overall, I'm kind of impressed by uh, these good-to-go rations, and uh, I think I might try to snag another couple of these to uh, keep around. And they've got different flavors and stuff, so if you don't like curry, so... Okay, everybody, this was uh, kind of fun to do, and this is actually part of my lunch. So I'm going to get chowing down. Talk to you all later. Bye.